I'm excited about the fact that that cross that stood over our campus there on Josie Lane since 1986 is the same cross that's going to be over this campus. And I tell you, I'm also excited too because I believe over the course of time, many, many more people are going to see that cross who are driving up and down that highway. Who knows what stories will be told of people who were at their wits end and who felt like they had nothing left and they looked over and they saw that cross. I believe that God is going to take and use that cross right there to be a witness, to be a message. You know, the book of Colossians tells us that God has reconciled us through Jesus Christ through the cross. The Bible also tells us in Colossians chapter 2 that he has triumphed over his enemies through the cross. That cross that is there is going to be a beacon. It is going to be a light to this community as it sits atop that building. As it is, has the light shining on it. It is going to be a beacon in this community and a beacon around the world. Let me tell you, when I see that cross, it reminds me of some things. One thing it reminds me of, it reminds me of our Savior. Because you cannot see a cross without thinking of the fact that Jesus laid down his life. He gave his life for you and me on a cross. It wasn't a beautiful white cross. It was an old rugged cross. And he wore that crown of thorns after being mocked and scorned. And as we talked about last week, that sign was hung above that cross intended to be a sign of shame. And yet it was a declaration that this is Jesus of Nazareth, the King. And he, our Savior, gave of himself. He died on that cross for you and for me. So when you see that cross, let that cross always be a reminder of the fact that Jesus, our Savior, gave himself for us.